welcome. We're glad you're here. We're going to share with you a bunch of resources, some you may know about, some you may not know about. Uh, I'm Ethan. I'm the College Essay Guy, and I'm excited you're here. Hana, do you want to just introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Hana Lim, and I'm the Director of Workshops here at College Essay Guy. We're so excited to be here with you. Yeah, so let's jump right in. Today's agenda is basically we want to share with you how we believe, and we're the emphasis today is on effectively use. Some folks will be using these effectively, and other folks are like, what What even do you offer? So we want to share with you some resources that you may not know about at the start, some that you may know about, and at each juncture, a little tip for how to use these even more effectively. And these are resources for whether you have zero budget at your school, whether you have a small budget, or whether you do have a budget and you're in that position. So... This first one, and we'll share links to these both. Uh, and if you're watching this recording underneath this video, we're gonna share a link to this presentation so you can click on these. But if you're watching live, um, you'll find these popping up just in the chat as we go. These are our monthly email templates. So this is one of, you may know about this, you may not. Essentially, this is a, an email template where you, or a Google Drive folder where you can jump in. And if you're trying to figure out what should I share with my students, here it is, a uh, list of resources that you can just copy paste into whatever email you're sending to your students. So for example, recommendations for building a great summer reading list, or if you want students to think about researching colleges without visiting a campus. So if you're like, ah, how do I, how do I get access to these? Or, you know, how do I have, write these emails every month? It would be great, but I, I forget to do it. My tip on effectively using these is, I'm gonna scroll back over here, but I'm bum bum. When you click this, whoops, Sorry, let me click this. Let me actually use the link that I'm suggesting that you use. Um, sorry, monthly email templates. There we go. Okay, so when you when you click the link that is in the chat or in the presentation, if you subscribe like this, that every month will email you the monthly email templates. So you'll be reminded, hey, here's your here are your email templates for the month, and then you can just copy and paste into whatever email you're going to send to your students, and it makes it super super easy. So some folks may know about these, but in terms of the effectiveness of it, I would say subscribe. That'll send you the reminder. I know I forget. Um, it's easy to, to forget things. Um, so subscribing is a great way to, to, um, to get those reminders every month. This one is relatively new. So I don't know if you know about our, uh, our calendar here, but let me just show you this one real quick. So if you look at this, this is on our webinars and live events page. Again, the link will pop up in just a second in the chat. But, you know, every month we have different sessions that we lead in our community. And there's an easy way to get opted into these. If you're a counselor, you click this link right here. It'll give you the option to add all of the upcoming webinars and events at College Essay Guide to your Google Calendar auto-magically. So all the things, whether it's, you know, a webinar in our counselor community, whether it's a webinar that is open access. You can just click this. And then in terms of how to keep your students or how to keep your parents, you know, looped in on the things that are most relevant to them, there's also a link that either of them can click so that they get notified or they add it to their Google Calendar for whatever events are particular to them. And we've color-coded these, or I should say Ashley and our team has color-coded these so that the ones that are most particular to, you know, students, parents, or counselors are the ones that, that folks get notified of. So, Sure, it would be fine to like check this every month, but wouldn't it be easier if it was auto, you know, automatically connected to your Google Calendar? So that's another one. And then again, the effective part of it is scrolling down on the page to like actually add it to your Google Calendar. Here's one that not a lot of students and counselors know about. And I think this one's particularly useful right now uh, at this time of year. So we think getting students to college is really, really important, but getting students through college even better. So we put together this guide with some first-gen students um, from our Max Sliders program. And this is essentially interviews. Imagine if you were to do a panel with returning students and they were talking about what are some different things that were surprising to you, for example, at your first week of college. And these are you know, direct quotes from students. And sure, you could send this PDF out to students and maybe they'll read it, but it might be more interesting to potentially have a session with students where you share this out with them they spend some time potentially reading through it or working through it and then having conversations with one another based on the content that's shared here. So that's a way that I've seen this used in the past. We've had this out for about a year and a half or so is having a conversation. And then another potential way to do it is having a conversation about what are some things that you wish you'd known 
bringing back former students, you know, alumni, and then sharing this as a follow-up so that students can read through it. So that's one that not everybody knows about, but we're excited to put on your radar. Some of the classics, the ones that people know about, we're more familiar with. We have our free guide to the personal statement. And this is just a simple thing that students can opt in for. And the free guide to the personal statement basically walks students through brainstorming, writing, and structuring their, their uh, personal statement. One way to use it is potentially just being like, hey, start off this summer and you know get into your personal statement. Another way to potentially use it is and something that some counselors do is they actually with students will sit down and they'll go through the first module with them. They'll go through the brainstorming section in some kind of live session before the start of the summer and then show them the next steps so that they can kind of see, oh, this is what I can look. So that they're actually showing them what's inside the guide. And this is what I can do to get ahead this summer. So again, like, you know, just like the, the to and through guide, sitting down with students, spending half an hour, 45 minutes to like get them started and then giving them the resource. Because we think that the summertime is a great time to, you know, work with students, get students started on their personal statements. Another one to put on students' radar is these 70 plus supplemental essay guides. So this is another kind of classic one. If you Google anything, any, any of these colleges and the supplemental essays, you'll find, for example, for Northwestern, my alma mater, you'll find a link, uh, basically all the prompts, and these get updated every August whenever the new prompts come out. And you'll see the prompts and then how to write each of these supplemental essays. So you've got extra, they've got practical exercises, they've got charts that they can use to do their research. All these are free, you know, open access. Students can jump in and basically, um, you know, work on their supplemental essays. We find that after August 1st is a good time to do it because that's when they're, you know, that's when they've been released. But a simple way to make these more effective is to, again, as part of some kind of workshop that you're doing with students, walk them through it and do just what I did with you, where you actually like click on the link and show them that these guides actually exist. And then showing them how they've got the prompt, they've got the sample essays, they've got analysis so that they start to see, oh, wow, these are things that are beyond sort of like saying, hey, college essay guide has free resources. I actually have a slide just like this one that says supplemental essay guides or college essay guides guides and put it in as part of a, a slide in a presentation only takes a minute, you know, maybe three minutes to create the slide and then shows them actually what these, what's in these guides. And they're so, you know, these are pretty comprehensive. We did it for 70 or 75 of the most Googled schools. One that you may not be as familiar with is the family handbook. And it comes up like this intentionally so that what you do is you click make a copy. And once you click make a copy, what this will do, you can see that it's, it's working. It's creating a copy of a copy for high school counselor. So what you would do here is sort of put in, I'll put in my high school, Southwest Miami High School, and then just delete this. And then a family handbook to college admission. Now what this would, would be is a handbook that you could tweak and you can just delete this first page because you don't need it. You can actually create your own family handbook to college admissions. Just put your school's logo right here. And then, in, in you know, basically a shout out to College Essay Guide for creating the guide. And then essentially what we've got here, and if you look, there's there's like, let's see, it's 41 pages. Now I know that's, that may sound like a lot, but what you can do is essentially tweak any part of this guide for your particular population. So read through it. And if there's stuff that you agree with, just leave it, you know. Uh, in terms of college rankings and developing a college list. This is our, what we think, we're trying to do kind of a synthesis of what we think is good advice and what we think that you'll agree with. But we've got stuff here on financial aid. We've got stuff on, on testing, the purpose of the personal statement. We've got stuff on UCs and UTs because we've got a lot of counselors who work in California and Texas. And again, the, the, as far as being effective with this, I think this will be most effective if you're including stuff that's particular to your school so that it feels like, ah, this is the official in this case, Southwest Miami High School handbook. So get in here, tweak it, make it your own. And then, um, you know, and if you do something interesting and cool with it, like send it back to us because we'd love to see what, you know, how you've, what you've done with this. A lot of this stuff will be stuff that's very familiar, you know, ninth grade, 10th grade. Some of you have already created this and if you have, great. But if you haven't ever created a handbook and you'd like to, we're trying to make it a little easier for you. Um, so that's, that link will come up in the, in the chat. Some of you may already know about our Match Lighters program. This is our program for high-achieving, low-income students. 
Um, if you know of a student or several students that you'd like to recommend for the program, we pair students for 10 hours of free essay and application help. And you just go to collegeessayguy.com slash matchlighters. We'd love to connect with students. We've got a, a large volunteer cohort of about 600 counselors. If you're interested in volunteering because you'd like to work with a student potentially, you'll see the link pop up in the chat. We would love to, love to, love to have you. Our students are amazing. The relationships that students create with counselors each year is incredible. So um, if that sounds interesting to you, either recommending students, there's like a link for that. And all they have to do is fill out the application and show proof of, of, you know, of income. And then on the counselor side, if you're interested in working with a student, we'd love to have you there as well. One of the big ones, and I would say the effectiveness for this is just putting this as a bookmark, is our college application hub. Now, this is if you if you think of like sort of this whole process as being like Legos and you're kind of assembling Legos, this is like where we've tried to put everything all in one place for students. And we've even got an international student hub. So if you happen to work with international students, we've got particular resources for them. But this one walks through everything from building a college list to timeline, researching colleges, and you know how to apply early action versus early decision. I'm not going to read through all these because there are a lot, a lot, a lot of resources. But if you're ever wondering, where, can I just have all the resources in just one place? This is the one to bookmark. It's my favorite one. We've tried to be comprehensive and not totally overwhelming, but it is, it is certainly a lot. If you're interested in, okay, well, I want to make sure that I get the right resources at the right time, then I would recommend subscribing to the email templates that I shared at the top that you'll find also in the chat, because that's going to sort of give these to you sort of when you need them and remind you of the, the particular resources. But this one is really comprehensive. Like I said, we've got resources on applications, on personal statements. Some of the ones that I mentioned, like the supplemental essays, guides for the University of California, schools, the activities list, et cetera. So a lot of those, a lot of those resources you'll find on this hub. If you haven't checked out the podcast lately, we're having some fun. I'm basically, whoops, I, I'm basically right now in the middle of, let me just show you. I'm in the middle of a 10 part series on what colleges want. So right now we're on session six. We started off looking at this, um, the factors that colleges deem important. This is from, um, from the National Association of College Admission Counselors. And then we're going one by one with what are the things that colleges consider most important. So you'll see each of those, each one is then how to use these effectively. I don't know, pop them in as you're, you know, bring it up as you're on your drive or on your walk. Sometimes I'll have folks tell me like, yeah, I spent the whole week with you because I listened to one a day. It's a pretty good onboarding also for new counselors. So if you are a new counselor or you're trying to onboard a new counselor to like what are colleges looking for, this is part of why I created this is kind of like a PD series where you could just basically as a new counselor, listen, and you get kind of a crash course in each of these. Some of these you'll find if you click on it, have a YouTube video version. So for example, this one, that's you know, really there's, funny. I recorded this one as a video with my awesome co-host Tom. So um, that's, that's another way to, to sort of get the content if you prefer to watch videos. So check out the podcast if you haven't, and you could subscribe on Spotify or, you know, wherever you listen to podcasts. Speaking of our YouTube channel, I've got a video a week coming out, and that's another way to sort of get just-in-time resources. And it's a great way to reach students because we find that students don't always love checking their email, but many of them will watch a video. And so we've got a huge range of videos from, you know, one-minute ones on here's, you know, three tips for your college application to 20-minute videos on here's a complete walkthrough of your activities list and how to do it. Uh, and those are coming out. It's just, again, sort of like a just-in-time uh, resource. For those of you, again, counselors who might be might be new to this or who are looking for, okay, what are the resources that I would need if I was just setting up an office? This is where we put all of our resources for counselors. And again, we'll put the link in the chat for this. But this resource has, whoops, it froze up for a second. Um, this resource has, sorry, uh, my internet slowing down. There we go. This has, for example, it's freezing. Let's see. Da, da, da. My internet connection is unstable, so I'm going to use it as an opportunity to drink water. There we go. I think I'm back. All right. So essential college counseling books, essential resources, those templates that I mentioned, the email templates are, are linked here. If you're trying to like advertise something where you've got like a FAFSA completion day or something like that, we've got social media templates that have been lovingly created that you can just basically you know, copy paste and, you know, create your event. 
We've got advice on how to create a great school profile so that college admission readers have context about your, um, your particular population of students that you're working with and lots more. So I won't walk through all those, but just to put it on your radar, uh, if I was to bookmark two, you know, it would be the college application hub and the charter school, charter counselor hub, the public and charter school counselor hub. Those are the two that I think are the most comprehensive in terms of like, here are all the things. And then last year when the Supreme Court decided to ban race conscious admissions, um, we put together a bunch of resources on, you know, that basically addressing some of the questions that we felt like students and counselors would have. So in case you missed these, we have a guide on, is it okay to write about race in your college application? And if so, how do you do it? We've got a guide on that. We've got some great exercises for students for thinking about their different, many different identities and how to talk about them in their application. A lot of colleges, maybe more than 50, added a quote unquote diversity or how will you contribute to the community based on your diverse background. So we've got a guide on that. And then we've got some different blogs or sorry, podcasts that are, that are supplement those. And then we've got resources for Latinx families in particular. And I recorded that one in Spanish and in English with Lorenzo from Santa Clara. So if that's a particular, if, you, if your population of students is wrestling with this question about whether or not to talk about race in their application, we've got a whole bunch on that. Like I mentioned earlier, we've got a bunch on personal insight questions. You'll find those linked in the College Application Hub. And then coming up this summer, we've got something called CEG Live which is our basically our pay what you can boot camps. And let me just give you a sense of what these are. I mean, I'm gonna bring this up as well. Some of the links I can click on and some of them I can't. So I'm gonna fix that on the presentation. But what CEG Live is, is essentially one week boot camps where I walk students through brainstorming, outlining and writing, and then revising and up-leveling their essays. And you'll see the dates here. We'll share the link in the chat here. I've, I'm doing this uh, in early June. Some students are still in school then, some students are just getting out, and then later in June when most folks are out. And then I'm doing a separate one on how students can write the UC personal insight questions, if you happen to be in California or have students that apply to schools in California. And then in September, we're doing one on how to write the application and supplemental essays. And you'll see all the information on the link that we'll share. But essentially, this is, imagine you're having me come into their school, you know, of course it's, you know, at these particular times, and doing going step by step through the process, they're going to have access to a really comprehensive tool that's going to answer a lot of their questions. And this is the goal here is to get students really far ahead, hopefully in the summer, so that when they come in the fall, they're, they're way ahead and not feeling like, ah, I'm so behind. And we'll share a link to that in the chat as well. All right, kicking over to Hannah. And uh, Hannah, do you want to share your screen or do you want me to keep sharing mine? Um, You can keep sharing yours. Actually, you know what? I need to do a behind the scenes thing of this form. Oh, yes. I that. Would you mind sharing? No, I don't mind sharing. Awesome. Appreciate it. One second. All right. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. All right. And really quickly, I wanted to actually put into the chat real fast something from um, the SCOTUS uh, slides here is a really, really cool resource if you were to go here and you look for um, school profile, there is a really great guide here um, for how counselors can actually up-level their school profile. Profile. So I would love for you to check this out. I put it into the chat there. Um, lots of amazing content here and even like a recording of, um, of Tom going through it and everything. It's amazing. And so just wanted to pitch something in the, in the free section there. So all right, so if you have a budget, I want to go over how you can impactfully use um, the Colleges to Get Resources at your school. And so I meet with, with counselors very, very often um, all over the, the country and even the world. And whenever I meet with them, I often hear things like students, you know, have heard from me, you know, since they were like in ninth grade. They just listen differently when someone else talks, comes in to talk to them. Um, I've had students work with counselors on their essays, and sometimes I have to tell them to start all over again. It's like senior year. I wish we could work with somebody who we, we really trust. Um, I'm just too busy to build a program, or I've been using your free resources for so long. I want to see how I can take things to the next level. And so that's what I'm going to be going over with you. And so the way that I um, like to kind of frame this is to have you think about like how involved would you like to be? in the essay process with your students. Um, some folks, you know, they like to kind of do everything on their, not everything, but most of it on their own. 
So that would be kind of you like you, you like to take the reins. Personally, I'm that type of person. I used to be a former high school teacher, English teacher, but also an avid teacher. And that was me. I created everything for them and did a lot of things, but I was also an essay coach with Ethan. And so of course I adopted a lot of the things that I had um, had as essay coach for like groups of students. Um, but you might also be like, you know, um, I'm totally willing to help with the facilities and all those stuff, um, those things. Like I would love for someone to come and work with my students, but me being like side by side with that facilitator to make this happen, that'd be like the 50% or, you know, like pretty much you could help with, um, like we'd plan something together and where it's, um, we are still doing most of the presentation, but there's still like coordination on your end. So we're going to actually go from like lightest to um, more involved. And so for the 25%, for example, is like, we'll together coordinate your workshops and do them at your desired date and time. So these are private workshops. And so um, these vary greatly in terms of like how they're carried out. Typically they're two to three days. Um, and we worked with over 130 schools last year from all over the country, even the world. And then we've done them in person, hybrid, virtual. And so you can kind of see here, this is me in person at a school and you can see it's like some of the, them are like smaller groups while there, it could be like in a theater here with like 150 students, for example. But we've also done virtual sessions where they're like 200 or more, maybe even just six students. We've done them in so many different capacities. And so it's an interactive workshop. You'll see um, that whatever's on the screen is in is on the screen for the students as well, because we use an interaction, interactive platform so that even if I'm standing in front, I can actually see all of their answers. Even if I'm virtual, I can see all of their answers too. And so um, this is where we cover like the foundations of the personal statement. And so you can see here, um, let me go ahead and take you to the private workshop page. You'll see here, um, we have part one, two, three. So this is typically what uh, folks will choose, especially part one and two. Probably the, mo the most popular combination is part one, two, and then the supplemental essays. So what we do in workshops is we try to update these as best as we can as currently to keep them as current as possible. So especially the supplemental essay one, this has been um, changed to reflect the, the changing prompts ever since this SCOTUS decision. Um, I'm based in California, so a lot of folks out here also use the UC one, but some people want like live feedback. So we'll do like the live feedback session um, and some counselors you know, really want us to really even help them with how to put together the activities list or to write in additional info, how to really package their application so that it's ready to be sent. So those I would say are like the most popular of our um, offerings. And so, um, but we also have something where it's like a, a full on boot camp where the outcomes are different. So when we go to the private workshop ones, these are a little bit more of like getting students started and giving them a taste of some of the brainstorming and um and like getting them with the same vocabulary, understanding what the narrative, the montage structures are, they get access to the choose your own adventure tool. <laughs> and so um, that's what the private workshops there will do. For the boot camps, the outcomes are a little bit different. So the, if the goal is to have like a solid outline, you know, they, we recommend like three hours um, a day, which is about nine hours total, but all of this is customizable based on your school, um, like allotted hours and convenience and all that too. Um, if they want a complete solid first draft, I'm sure if you've worked with students before, even doing that in three days is, you know, they're really, really working. Um, but we do break it down like this, but we do change it up a little bit too. But we've also had uh, folks doing private workshops where let's say in the beginning, they'll have, let's say a facilitator come in, do like an hour and a half. And then afterward with the counselors in their different cohorts, they'll actually be working on their essay. So there's so many different ways um, to craft this together. So the ideal situation with this, with the workshops is to have students getting a solid foundation as they begin. And so um, we even do some, like we even do full on summer schools where um, like we'll actually have like, teachers in person or facilitators go in as teachers and do like eight weeks with their students to write a personal statement. And even if the students are not um, like necessarily applying to schools for college, we talk about how this is like their one opportunity to really self-reflect. And so, and then like that essay at the end is like um, the thing that they're going to have as a final product. 
And what's amazing is at the end, they'll even do like a personal statement reading. They read them to each other. It's like a really, very beautiful process. And so, um, yeah, it's very, very fascinating, like how these have, you know, kind of grown to be. And they're really fun and, and exciting, too. So we've done these also virtually or in person, more in person, especially because, you know, we want to be able to go to um, different students and, you know, do topic checks, something that we call topic checks with them. Um, but depending on how many adults are in the room, we could have maybe just one facilitator, multiple adults helping with the process there. Um, but let's say you want to take the reins. You just need the material to be able to do it on your own. We can actually train your counselors or teachers on how to guide your students through it. And this is the only one where you'll actually get slides and videos and actual lesson plans and curriculum. And so um, this is something that, you know, I helped to develop um, as I was leaving the classroom, but needing to provide something because as a former AVID teacher, you know, we were told to basically work on the personal statement, but there was like no material. And so I developed this. Um, I can show you very quickly just a sample of the pacing guide that we have here. Um, so you'll see it's like divided into four different weeks. Don't have to do all of it, but but basically the foundations are in like the first two weeks. That's just like a sample of like what that would, might look like there. And so, um, but this also comes with two PDs, two of our most popular PDs, which I can show you up here is the college admissions fundamentals. Because say, for example, we actually got this feedback of needing this because um, we had some counselors who, or we actually had some teachers who were piloting the materials and they said, um, I'm a, a writing teacher. I know how to teach that aspect of it, but I'm not a college counselor. And it's been a long time since I applied to school. Is there a way for you to kind of give us that background material so that we understand how to answer some of these frequently asked questions when students ask us this during the process? So this is like um, a really great foundational college admissions um, PD there. And then we have our most popular, how to guide a student through the personal statement process. What do you do if a student comes to you with nothing, just the brainstorming? How do you actually guide them through getting to an outline? And so um, we've done this with schools where the, the teachers are even given pre-work to do some of the brainstorming in advance. We talk about it and it's it's been very, very impactful. So we've had, um, counselors say i'm not i've never been a teacher i don't know how to necessarily like have um like to start a lesson this actually helped them tremendously with that and then we'll have teachers who say like i didn't learn this when i was in my teaching program and this has really really helped me so um this one is definitely more robust and has like everything that you need um to do this on your own and so and in a more deeper like a long form type of way um, and then if you're, if you actually, this one wasn't necessarily in the beginning, but this is another aspect of our um, offerings of where we actually do some consulting, where we'll actually get schools who will send us um, either former or even current student applications and ask us, ask for our input on how do their applications look, how do their um, essays look, and then we'll actually give feedback. And it's been extremely rewarding to see how these uh, students, especially at international schools, just like really turn over just amazing, amazing applications after just a few um, pieces of advice. So it's been really, really rewarding and, and fun. And so what's really cool is you could actually click here for our brand new workshops brochure. You can kind of get an, an idea of some of the things that I, I mentioned, but in more detail. I know it's 17 pages, but sometimes folks will ask us for a little bit more of a detailed, um, you know, look into some of this so that they can give it to decision makers and things like that. And so you might be wondering, well, where's all the pricing for this? Well, you can inquire about pricing, just go ahead and click here. And if you go learn more about pricing, you just fill in this form and I can send that over to you. And so, um, yeah, you could even say specifically, I would love to know about pricing, um, but we, it starts at around $900 and up. So, um, yeah, it's it's such a great value. Uh, so many counselors have told us um, that the value that they get is that it saved them, them so much time on like multiple drafts and just the quality's just been so much better. And um, if you've been familiar with us, we really do try to make it so that our workshops are just so, um, I don't want to say like life changing. I know we've you turn, you, used that term before, but it's just, there's like just this different element of that introspection and excitement for the process. So yeah, that, those are all the resources.